grapple, slop, and a lesson in happiness on the banks of the river. Week 1 of 3F7920 is in the books, and here are the highlights. <music> My 3F79 for 2020 started on February 7th, and the first three days came with a variety of precipitation. Rain, snow, sleet, grapple. All this fell on ground that was already saturated, making for sloppy conditions in places. But that's nothing unusual for this time of year in this part of the country. I managed a day trip to Charlestown State Park. It's a nice place to ride in winter. There's one main road and it has to be ridden as an out and back, but there are some fun hills and the road takes you all the way to the Ohio River. There's a ramp near the boat dock to help those with physical impairments get on and off of boats. There are access points at three different levels to help match up with various heights of boat decks. I think it's great that someone thought to build this. The place is full of stuff left over from when this was the Indiana Army Ammunition Plant. You can see a lot of artifacts when you hike here, but you can also see some from the road. I like it that Indiana keeps their state park campgrounds open in winter. Not all nearby states do so. The campgrounds at Charlestown were mostly empty, but I saw a few rigs, including this Class A. Most of my riding was done in and around our hometown of Madison, Indiana. One neighborhood had a speed sensor set up. I had some fun with that. I rode past on the first day, and again on the seventh day, showing a gain in speed. I joked on Facebook that after just one week, my training was already paying off. But the fact is, I remembered the sensor and came into that section a little hotter the second time. I stopped and chatted with a young couple out with their metal detector along the riverbank. I shared with them a bit about Julie's and my experience with our metal detector. They hadn't found anything yet, but when I came back later, they had found a few treasures. Also along the river, I encountered this trash picker. He told me he'd made over $400 the previous year selling cans. He said it like it was a fortune. I asked where he sold them and he told me of a recycling firm upriver, just outside of Vivi. Oh, he said, and they're the nicest people. The scrap wood he had tucked under one arm, he described as pre-cut firewood. He said he finds clothes all the time. In fact, he said, I found everything I'm wearing today. He was pleased with the many items he'd been able to bring to thrift stores. I bet I donated 40 or 50 balls last year, he said. I said, why not? Somebody can still play with them. I don't think I've ever met anyone with so little stuff but so much happiness. He appeared to be profoundly poor, but was happy to the point of jubilation. Maybe if I hung out with him for a while, I'd be shocked at his shortcomings. But my brief encounter with him reminded me of the disconnect between net worth and happiness. So week one of the 2020 3F79 is in the books. It was a good start, and I'm looking forward to the next 72 days. Here's the link to that explanation of what 3F79 is. I'll put links in the description to my Facebook and Instagram accounts. That's going to do it for now. I'm Rich Reese, and I'll see you out there.